Hello. Uh, welcome, everyone, to today's webinar. And today we have a very, very special webinar for young astronomers, for our youngest astronomers. So again, uh, we've been celebrating Global Astronomy Month all month of April. So we've had many webinars, most of them for older kids. So today we have a special one just for you. And uh, today is also a special day. Anybody knows what day we are celebrating today besides Global Astronomy Month? If you do know, please put it on the chat. That's right, one of you got it? Okay, so that it is, it is indeed Earth Day, very good. All of you know about it. It is indeed Earth Day. And uh, what is Earth Day? Uh, it, it was st started 50 years ago to, uh, to make people all around the world aware of different things of, uh, you know, problems that the world, the Earth might face, such as climate change, such as pollution, uh, all these. And through that, many important acts have been passed, such as the Clean Air Act. So now, of course, it's very important for all of us to get together and tackle the new problems we all are facing as global citizens. And uh, once we come out of our current pandemic problem, we also have to address climate change issues because that is the main problem that our Earth will face. So. Great Karthik, reuse, reduce, recycle, refuse. That's a great line to use, and that's true for all of our kids. So I'm, uh, I'm glad to welcome you all here today, and uh, we are going to be starting right now. So let me also welcome my co-panelists, Aryan, who will be uh, telling you a bit about the solar system. And then we have my, my co-panelist, Kunal, who is going to uh, show you how to make a pocket solar system. So at that point, he'll also tell you what all you need. But I think uh, our team has already sent you a mail about what are the material you might need. So again, for those who are joining us right now, welcome to Global Astronomy Month and welcome to Earth Day that we are celebrating today. And today is the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. So with that, I'll turn it over to uh, Aryan, who's going to tell us a little bit about the solar system. Thank you very much, Mila, ma'am. Uh, I hope everybody underst understood the importance of Earth Day now. So hello, everyone. I hope everybody is doing good. Once again, I'm Aryan. And today, we are, I'm going to take you on a journey to solar system. I hope everybody is ready and have gathered some information about solar system already. Followed by uh, after the journey, when we learn about solar system, you'll be doing some interesting activities. So, and for that, you actually need the knowledge of solar system. So please pay attention while we walk through it. Okay. And don't forget, we do have a quiz at the end that uh, that's very exciting. It's a live quiz. So all of you, please listen to him carefully because we will have a quiz from what he's speaking. Okay. So all attention towards me now. And just one thing, everybody knows about chat. If in case I ask anything, you can uh, write your answers in chat. Okay. So talking about solar system, well, the word solar itself comes from sun. Okay. So just like we have got a family, so this, what you're watching on the screen is the family of sun. So sun, like in a family, you have got the head of the family who binds the family together. So sun is also the powerful source here, which binds all these moving celestial bodies around together with a force. Let's know more about sun's family from here. So in the family of sun, we have got eight planets. I hope you know the names. I'll just walk you through Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, the largest one that you see among all the planets, Jupiter, the second largest that you see, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Okay, so these are the planets. Now, one interesting thing that you may be, uh, you know, able to see over here between Mars and Jupiter, 
can you see all these fuzzy uh, you know small small dots okay what are these these are space rocks called as asteroid so between mars and jupiter there are asteroids a big belt of asteroid we call it asteroid belt so there are hundreds and thousands of asteroids over there and there is also one such belt beyond the orbit of neptune and you know this one that you are watching is very very wide and very big belt okay even bigger than the asteroid belt and we have got so many icy rocks over here and this belt is called as kuiper belt okay so this is supposed to be the end of the solar system the center of the solar system is sun and it ends at kuiper belt try to remember this name maybe a new term for many of you yeah so this was uh, these are all the celestial bodies uh, in the solar system now let's learn about them one by one so let's visit the sun first okay so here goes our hot and burning sun so uh, well sun has got interesting names in different cultures and the indian version we call it surya so it's the hottest celest uh, celestial body and i i hope everybody knows uh, or even if you don't it is actually a star okay like the stars that you see at night this is also a star just like that but why does it look so different it is because it is the closest star to us if you will see sun from some distance it will also look like you like just like the other stars that you see at night okay i hope it is clear so sun is the closest star to us also the source of heat and light everybody knows about it because we say how do we say it's daytime we say it because of the sunlight that we get right so it, it has it has got a lot of heat and light because of some process going on the burning gases inside sun causes this some reactions producing heat and light all right so moving to the first planet in the solar system i request somebody to write down in the chat which planet is this anyone who can quickly guess which planet is this i'm watching the chat this is the first planet in the solar system yes i got the correct answer and the first to answer is olivia and that is correct it is mercury okay the first planet in the solar system is mercury it is closest to sun definitely we are counting the arrangement of planets from the sun so this is closest to sun yeah i got the answer guys let's pay attention now over here the first one is mercury and this is closest to sun this is the smallest planet in the solar system okay i hope everybody is aware about this interesting fact also when you will look compare the sizes of all the planet is the smallest planet in the solar system okay now one interesting thing mercury has actually got no moon like our from earth we can see one moon at night but from the surface of mercury you actually see no moon in the night sky okay so moving to the second planet let us see who can write the name of this planet quickly in the chat wow i already got but there is no name in this it's vivo uh and some number so that's correct venus and adwar nidhi sanvi all are giving correct answers pallavi ojas correct yeah so this is the planet venus okay so let's talk about this planet well this is the second planet in the solar system but do you know it is the hottest planet in the solar system okay among all the planets it is the hottest one now why this is second mercury is first but why is mercury not hottest but venus is the hottest planet well that is because venus actually captures the sunlight when the sunlight reaches towards the surface there is a thick cloud around venus okay and that captures traps the sunlight there and it never escapes wo wahan se kabhi nikal hi nahi pate okay so the surface gets hotter and hotter and that's how venus is the hottest planet in the solar system i hope it is clear okay moving to the another fact about venus well this is the brightest planet in the solar system for those who want to see venus i'll just tell you tonight also just go in the night sky look towards the west part of the sky you will, you will be able to spot venus well when you see planets at night it actually looks like stars okay because we are watching it from very far distance right so it looks like a twinkling star to you but in the west direction whatever is the brightest looking star make a note that's not a star it is the planet venus okay so try to observe it in case you can okay so moving to the another fact 
Well, Venus also has got no moon around it, just like Mercury. One interesting thing, just like in a family, you have got sister and brother. So in the family of solar system, Venus is called as sister planet of Earth. No, no, how do we set this relation? Sister of Earth. Well, that is because of the size comparison. You know, here is the planet Venus and here is our home planet Earth. Now, when you see the size, they are nearly equal in size. And that is why we say Venus is also the sister planet or twin sister of Earth, okay? Keep noting down these uh, facts in your mind or you can even re uh, repeat the facts after me uh, on your own so that you uh, remember these points because in the quiz, all of this is going to be very important, okay? Okay, so moving to the next planet, the third planet, which planet is this? Yes, Aradhya already answered, Arshia as well, that's Earth, that's correct. Earth is the planet, the third from the sun. Okay, now since we live here, we already know a lot of things about Earth, right? So uh, nothing to talk much. So I will just simply share small points like third planet from the sun. This is our home sweet home. Yes, we live here. Okay, and the most important thing about Earth is the only planet in the solar system where life exists, okay? because to have life, you need some proper conditions, like you need to have oxygen, you need to have water. And one important thing is the temperature, okay? The temperature, when you are too close to sun, it might be too hot, you cannot survive. When you are too far, it can be very cold, okay? So Earth is at a place where it's neither too hot nor too cold. So it's a good place to live, okay? So that's how life exists here. And everybody knows about this. We, from Earth, you can see one moon. The name of the moon is, uh, you know, we also call the moon as Luna. All right, so this is the moon that we see at night. Now moving ahead with the next planet and somebody has already answered, Himanshi, Adyan, Pallavi, that's Mars, very nice. So everybody knows about this planet, the fourth planet right after Earth. Okay, so talking about Mars, Everybody knows fourth planet from the sun. It is also called as red planet, okay? So red, why? Because uh, the soil composition is, uh, is like, you know, uh, some chemicals are there which makes it look reddish in color. So again, you can also spot Mars at night. Among several, you know, every star has got some color, okay? so. Uh, Mars looks like a red dot if you see so don't uh, it might be confusing if you have not uh, you're not practiced with night sky much so you might confuse with some stars but it looks like a red dot in the night sky okay now actually moon has got uh, Mars has got two moons so in case you get a, we get a chance to live on the surface of Mars we can see two moons in the sky that's great something different okay so after Mars, we have asteroid belt. Well, somebody answered Jupiter, you forgot. It's the asteroid belt, remember? So the asteroid belt is full of space rocks. Let's see it more, uh, you know, with this image. So here you see is Mars, and this is the orbit of Mars. Orbit is basically the path on which a planet keeps revolving around sun. And this is the orbit of the largest planet, Jupiter, okay? So between Mars and Jupiter, you see there's a big gap over here, okay? And can you see all these dots around? Now, there are, all these dots are actually asteroids. Can it be counted? No, there are so many asteroids there, we cannot count. So this entire thing that you're watching is the asteroid belt, okay? I hope we are clear. Let's see more points about it. So I have already told this is the region between Mars and Jupiter. Okay, let's revise the second point. These are leftovers from the formation of solar system. Do you know when solar system was being formed, the first thing that was formed was sun and then started the formation of planets. Okay, ye pehle se hi system nahi bana hua tha. Ye evolved hua dhere dhere aur solar system bana. So when the planets were formed, between Mars and Jupiter, there was supposed to be a planet, okay? But it didn't get formed, it's in pieces. So, asteroids go minor planets we get there. 
क्योंकि हम हम ऐसा सोचते हैं कि दीज आर चंक्स ऑफ प्लानिट विच वॉज नॉट फॉर्म एंड दैट्स वाई वी से लेफ्ट ओवर फ्रॉम द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सोलर सिस्टम ओके नाउ मोस्टली मेड अप ऑफ रॉक्स आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू एवरी वन रॉक्स है ओके बेल्ट हैव हंड्रेड्स एंड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ एस्ट्रॉइड लाइक आई सेट यू कैन नॉट काउंट हाउ मेनी आर देयर सो सो मेनी एस्ट्रॉइड इन दैट रीजन Okay, so right after the asteroid belt, what do we have? Jupiter. Well, Sanvi, Arav, Himanshi, all of you answered it correctly here. That's Jupiter, and Jupiter, as you can see, whatever planet we saw, this looks the largest one, and definitely it is. So this is the fifth planet from the sun, and if you count the sequence, largest planet in the solar system, as I already told you. Well, Manit and Munish have also answered right now. That's Jupiter. Okay, now how huge it is. Like when you are watching it, let's compare it with Earth. Okay, so if I had to fit Earth over here, around over here, do you know how many Earths will it take? It will take approximately eleven Earths. So Jupiter is eleven Earths wide. Now you can imagine it's really, really very huge planet. Okay, so eleven Earths wide. and do you know if i have to fit earth inside jupiter then how many earth will fit any guesses can somebody guess in the chat that uh, suppose you can open the jupiter just like a bottle you open and you have to fit it earth inside how many earths well, himanshi answered 100 kartik 300 okay suveer so has exceeded by the amount okay amay has given me an answer of 1300 and that's nearly correct okay so nearly 1300 earth can fit inside good am i nice nice answer so uh, now i hope everyone can imagine and relate with earth that how huge this planet actually is and that is why this is the largest planet in the solar system okay so moving ahead after jupiter which planet is this okay anya munesh ojas arshia everybody has answered correct kartik sanvi that's saturn that's correct okay so let's talk about saturn now well easily visible the features of saturn the most famous one is this rings and do you know you know in future whenever you get a chance to watch it through telescope telescope is an instrument used to observe the night sky whenever you get a chance you tr uh, just try to look at saturn for sure you know it looks very beautiful you can actually see the rings very closely uh, in the telescope so uh, you know that's an amazing experience uh, so try it out whenever you have a chance so this is the sixth planet from the sun the second largest in the solar system the first largest largest is jupiter and after jupiter this is the second largest planet okay and it is also called as ring planet and we know why we can see a beautiful very very broad rings of saturn very easily okay and it has got the broadest ring in the solar system now what are these rings actually made up of these are basically made up of dust icy chunks small rocks okay so this is the composition of the rings okay now moving ahead with our next planet uranus yes i've already got the answers from kashvi anya arav and this vivo i hope you change the name for the next time so that i can know your name yeah that's correct this is uranus now Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun uh, if we go by the sequence and it is also called as a rolling planet now this is one interesting fact about uranus you know uh, just imagine you stand at your place and you rotate at your place okay so all the planets are like moving just like that but how is uranus uh, actually moving you just lie down on the floor and roll around so that is how uranus is actually moving it's rolling in the uh, in its orbit around the sun and it has got 13 rings okay uh, the rings are visible over here and if we can count there are 13 total rings over here the brightest one is this ring just to add an information this is called as epsilon ring this is the brightest ring okay now moving to the next one which planet is this yes that's correct uh, again i got the answers from adve ojas munish okay pallavi kashvi that's correct uh, it's it is neptune okay let's talk about it now this is the last gas giant let's understand this point first gas giant basically uh, when i have uh, talked about the planets from jupiter 
they don't have you know uh, a solid ground just like earth okay so uh, you cannot actually stand on the surface of these planets jupiter saturn uranus and neptune so these are all made up of gases so that uh, this one is the last gas gaseous planet and also farthest from the sun now since it is farthest it is also the coldest planet okay uh, this is the farthest from the sun so it has to be all right and right after neptune what what was there try to remember this name again it's kuiper belt very nice kashvi you remember that's kuiper belt now kuiper belt you can easily see see all the orbits of the planet and this is the orbit of neptune this dark blue color one okay deep blue one here is the neptune and beyond this orbit this wide area whatever you are watching is the kuiper belt so it's really big area and all these uh, dots that you are watching are actually rocks icy rocks if you are uh, you know i am just introducing one term if you want to learn on your own basically the comets the space rocks they come from here comets okay from the kuiper belt okay so let's know about it this is present outside the neptune's orbit we can easily see this is neptune and this is outside area of neptune so here is kuiper's uh, uh, the kuiper's belt okay it has it contains hundreds of thousands of icy bodies clearly visible we cannot again count how many icy bodies are here okay and the dwarf planet pluto somebody is already asking where is pluto so yeah this orbit yellow color orbit that you are watching is the orbit of pluto and we do not count it in planets we say it as a dwarf planet because there are some properties a planet need to follow and pluto does not follow one of those rules so pluto is actually present in the kuiper's belt if you see okay it is right over here so let's revise it quickly once again because right now uh, you you are going to do uh, go ahead with the activity the center of the solar system is sun then you have mercury the smallest planet venus the hottest planet earth where we live mars the red planet asteroid belt with hundreds and thousands of asteroids there after that is the largest planet jupiter then we have saturn the second lar largest planet then we have uranus and then neptune and after that is kuiper belt that is called as the edge of solar system so i hope you all learned and enjoyed a lot so right now just a minute so right now i will hand it over to kunal sir uh, who will lead you with the activity and the quiz make sure you remember what you have learned right now because all of that will be used there thank you very much everyone over to you kunal sir thank you arun for such a wonderful information about the solar system so guys um, i hope everybody understood about all the planets asteroid belt as well as kuiper belt so now let's go ahead with the activity theek okay? hai um i hope everybody got the materials ready in hand um uh, we will be requiring three sheets of normal a4 paper not more than that would be required if you are not able to get the sheets of paper you can also have this toilet paper roll with you so any would work theek hai acha ab isme iske sath kya chahiye we would be requiring scissors as well as glue to tape it hum isko na lamba karna bhi aapko ek long strip wo bhi karenge and you will be required sketch pens ठीक है स्केच पेन्स इजीली अवेलेबल भी होते हैं सबके पास एट होम एंड यू कैन ड्रॉ इट विद विद स्केच पेन्स टॉयलेट पेपर भी आसानी से हो जाता है स्केच पेन से बट एक फॉर पेपर पे भी स्केच पेन्स यूज हो जाते हैं ठीक है तो दीज आर ओनली द मटेरियल्स दैट वुड बी रिक्वायर्ड सो नाउ टुडे द थिंग दैट वुड बी लर्निंग अबाउट सोलर सिस्टम वुड बी द पोजीशनिंग ऑफ द प्लैनेट्स एज़ वेल एज़ एस्ट्रॉइड बेल्ट एंड कुइपर बेल्ट इन अ सोलर सिस्टम इट्स वेरी ह्यूज अच्छा ठीक है वो बहुत ह्यूज है हम उसको कंपेयर भी नहीं कर सकते हम क्या करेंगे आज वे वी डाउन साइजिंग ऑल द सोलर सिस्टम इनटू आर दी शीट्स ऑफ पेपर हम उसको छोटा करके देखते हैं कि कितने कितने दूरी पे कितने कितने प्लैनेट्स होते हैं ठीक है सो लेट्स स्टार्ट वी विल टेक फर्स्ट शीट ऑफ पेपर आई थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी मेड अ स्ट्रिप उसको आपने पेस्ट भी कर दिया है बट ऑल दोस हु हैव नॉट डन इट दे कैन डू इट विद मी ठीक है यू हैव टू फोल्ड इट इनटू हाफ acha uh, guys uh, if someone who is not able to do this i would suggest wo aap apne mummy papa ko uh, bula lo sath mein so that they can help you in doing this theek hai to kya kiya maine kuch nahi kiya i took this a4 sheet of paper aur maine isko aise half mein fold kiya i hope everybody is able to see me doing this okay theek hai ab what i'll do is i'll cut it 
I'll use my scissors and cut this paper. So now, will you show it on toilet paper also, or only on yeah, one? I'll one? show it. I'll show it because toilet paper doesn't need any adjoining stuff. So that is right, why right. I'm first right. explaining them this. Right. Okay. From one paper, I have made two strips of paper. Okay. I will glue it one over the other like this. Or it's number one. Okay? I'll glue it. Use the glue. Do you know this part? So you need not worry. I'm going to go ahead. Okay? And the people who are doing it quickly, they wait a little bit. Okay, so I have glued this and second strip of paper over the edge. Let's see. So now I have one long strip of paper. Okay. Okay, uh, Anya says to wait, so I'll wait. And Jolo Kachuke, Boye de Kinki, Baki Jo two sheets of paper, Uspe B. Yay repeat Karna. ठीक है, so आने you continue अभी आप कर लो मैं तब तक बाकी sheets of paper भी करूँगा, ठीक है I'll keep this aside and I take the second sheet of paper. In case anybody wants to see what Kunal sir is doing, you can also go in the speaker view that will help you see him in full screen and the procedure. Fold it into half, make a crease, I mean crease. And cut it. Two strips and glue it. Okay, so now my second strip of paper is also ready. Oh, it is not dried, so I'll just keep it aside for a few minutes. Done. Okay, now I'll take the third paper and repeat the same process. Fold it into half. Cut it into two and glue it. So I have now one, two, and three. Three sheets now. I have three strips. I hope everybody has done it. I can see Munish have did it, done it, and anybody else? Okay, no. So you have three separate sheets of paper. Yes. Good. I think most of them have already done it. So what you have to do is you have to join these strips also together. I'll take the first strip and second strip and I'll join it together to make a big strip of paper. I glue on one end and paste this over here. Now I have a big strip like this with four strips of paper and I'll Use the third strip to paste it on the other end. Like this. So now I have a long 
single strip of paper with all the strips pasted together. See, everybody can see it. This is a single strip of paper with all the six strips pasted together. Approximately my length. Mommy Papa ki length ka hoga ya bitna bada hoga. Done. Good. Or if you have not been able to find A4 sheet paper, you can take a tissue paper and take the length approximately five feet, five to six feet. Mommy Papa jitni length aap in this may lay sakte ho. So I have used this also long strip of tissue paper. Okay. So is this ready? We are making a model of paper pocket model of solar system. Chalo, I'll start with the paper then. So you have this long strip of paper. First of all, you have to mark one end as sun. Take any sketch pen. I'll draw a sun over here on one end. I've drawn sun over here on the one end, sun, and I'll color it. You can also color it with me, or you can do it afterwards also. I'll use a yellow sketch pen to color the sun. All those who are using tissue paper, please keep your hand a little light on tissue paper because it will get turned tear off also. So it's will a hand color. Done. So, my son is ready. Are you guys ready? Okay. And on the other end, I will make Kuiper belt. What is Kuiper belt? Mein kya hai? Kuiper belt has lots, lots, of, lots of ice and snow and dust particles. So, what do I do? I will black or brown sketch pen. Se yahan pe Dust particles type, कुछ कुछ बना दूँगा. Any irregular shape, ऐसा कुछ नहीं करना आपने. Any कोई particular shape नहीं देनी. जैसे sun की तो होती है. ऐसे. मैंने तो ऐसे solid rocks types बना दिए ice वाले. ठीक है. और यहाँ पे मैं Kuiper belt भी लिख दूँगा. Okay, Anya wants me to be a little slow. ठीक है अभी तक आने मैंने कुछ नहीं किया मैंने एक एंड पे काइपर बेड लिखा है और दूसरे एंड पे मैंने सन ड्रॉ किया नॉट विजिबल आने ये मेरे दोनों एंड्स हैं ठीक है एक एंड पे सन एक एंड पे काइपर बेड ठीक है लेट्स गो फॉरवर्ड नाउ नाउ व्हाट आई डू इस आई Fold this strip into half. In dono edges ko saath mein join kiya aur main isko half mein fold kar dunga. I'll make a crease. Jahan pe ye fold ho raha hai, yahan pe I'll fold it and make a crease. Aise. Mainne kya kiya? Dono ends join kiye. Yahan pe I will better sun ko saath hi aaya aur yahan pe fold kar diya, crease bana di. Thik hai? And after this, I open it. I have opened it. So I can see a crease in the center. I can see a crease over here. I hope everybody is able to see it. Are you able to see it? Please repeat. Okay. I have made this strip where the sun was made in the end. And I made a kind of kuiper belt. I have joined them both. और इसको फोल्ड कर दिया ऐसे यहाँ पे जहाँ पे ये फोल्ड हो यहाँ पे मैंने फोल्ड कर दिया और फोल्ड करने के बाद जब मैंने इसको खोला तो यहाँ पे मुझे एक क्रीज दिख रही है एक फोल्डेड क्रीज जहाँ पे मैंने फोल्ड किया था ठीक है आई मार्क दिस प्लेस एस द सेकंड सेकंड फार्थेस्ट प्लैनेट आई होप एवरीबॉडी � so I mark it as Uranus 
और यहाँ पे मैं एक ब्लू कलर से लाइट ब्लू कलर से एक प्लान ड्रॉ कर दूंगा आई यूज लाइट ब्लू स्केच पेन टू ड्रॉ अ प्लान और उसमें मैं कलर कर दूंगा तो वहां पे लिख दूंगा दिस इज यूरेनस ऐसे जहां पे वो क्रीज थी यहां पे मेरा फोल्ड था तो मैंने यहां पे ये यूरेनस बना दिया सानवी लाइक दिस सो सो राइट नाउ यू हैव यूरेनस इन द मिडल ऑफ द क्रीज Yeah. And we have sun on one side. Just show the sun again. Sun is on this. Uh, this side is Saturn. Sorry. Yeah. This side is sun. This is Uranus, and this is the Kuiper belt. So, like him, please draw it. And if you don't have time to draw, at least write the name of the planet. Yes. And you can draw it later in your own time. Yes. So, how many sheets do we need? Somya is still asking. We require three A4 sheets. And usko half karke apne join kiye. मतलब सिक्स नैरो स्ट्रिप्स को जॉइन किया हमने यस और अगर इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू डू इट राइट नाउ वी विल बी शेयरिंग दिस वीडियो ऑन फेसबुक डू हैव अ लिंक विद अस ऑन द फेसबुक आल्सो तो वहां पे आपको इसका वीडियो दोबारा मिल जाएगा करने के लिए तो आप एडिशनली आप टॉयलेट पेपर और या किचन टॉवल रोल पे भी कर सकते हो कर सकते हैं यू कैन यूज एनीथिंग एनी यू नीड अप्रोक्सीमेटली 5 टू 6 फीट लॉन्ग स्ट्रिप तो आप किसी भी चीज से बना सकते हो टिश्यू पेपर यूज कर सकते हो यू कैन यूज नॉर्मल ए फोर पेपर किचन में आपको टिश्यू पेपर होते हैं उसको यूज कर सकते हो तो यू कैन यूज एनी एनी विच यू गेट इट ठीक है आई थिंक एवरीबडी इज डन विद यूर चलो नो वॉट आई डू इज मेरे काइपर बेल्ट था एक पोजिशन पे और एक यूरेनस था तो आई टेक माई काइपर बेल्ट टूवर्ड्स द यूरेनस एंड फोल्ड इट ऐसे आई फोल्ड इट इन टू हाफ और वहां पे एक क्रीज बना दूंगा देखो यहाँ पे मेरा काइपर बेल्ट है इधर काइपर बेल्ट था और इधर यूरेनस था तो मैंने इन दोनों को ज्वाइन किया और यहाँ पे क्रीज बना दी ठीक है अच्छा व्हाट डू यू थिंक इस क्रीज में क्या होना चाहिए इफ दिस इज द सेकंड फार्देस्ट प्लैनेट और ये काइपर बेल्ट सबसे दूर है तो यहाँ पे क्या होना चाहिए आई थिंक द लास्ट प्लानेट कौन सा है वो नेपच्यून यस ओ जस्ट रिप्लाइड नेपच्यून सो आई यूज अ डार्क ब्लू कलर स्केच पेन डार्क ब्लू कलर स्केच पेन एंड ड्रॉ अ नेपच्यून प्लैनेट ठीक है एंड कलर इट उधर मैं लिख भी दूंगा कि दिस इज नेपच्यून डार्क माई नेपच्यून राघव वॉट आई डिड वॉज आई टूक दिस काइपर बेल्ट Towards Uranus और उसको हाफ में फोल्ड कर दिया था यहाँ पे तो जहां वो क्रीज बनी आई ओपन रेड एंड ड्रॉ नेपच्यून देयर सो नाउ आई हैव सन यूरेनस नेपच्यून एंड काइपर बेल्ट इतना बन गया मेरा सोलर सिस्टम का ओके आने आई बी लिटल स्लो अभी तक मैंने सिर्फ चार चीजें बनाई है आई हैव मेड सन आई हैव मेड यूरेनस आई हैव मेड नेपच्यून and the kuiper belt theek hai so uh, kunal just explain once that you are uh, it's a long strip of paper and you are keeping on folding it uh, so that you can in the folds you can write the sequence jo abhi planets ka humne sikha tha wohi hum ड्रॉ कर रहे हैं ऐसे क्रीज बना बना के यस yes. हम ये समझने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं कि प्लैनेट्स कितनी दूरी पे हैं यूनिवर्स में ठीक है चलो लेट्स कंटिन्यू फॉरवर्ड ठीक है नाउ माय फार्देस्ट प्लैनेट इज रेडी काइपलवेट इज रेडी यूरेनस इज रेडी अब व्हाट आई डू इज आई टेक दिस सन आई टेक द सन एंड फोल्ड इट टुवर्ड्स यूरेनस सन को यूरेनस के पास लेके आऊंगा और यहां पे आई गेट अ क्रीज ठीक है आई गॉट अ क्रीज है अब इस क्रीज से इस क्रीज पे मैंने जब खोला तो देर इज अ क्रीज है ठीक है सो व्हाट इज दिस व्हाट इज द नेक्स्ट प्लान बियॉन्ड यूरेनस इट्स सैटर्न 
so i'll use a cream color pen to draw saturn acha you can make saturn rings also i'll use a dark brown pen to make saturn rings theek hai okay i'll show neptune again I draw up Saturn. Here is Neptune beyond Uranus. It can be light brown if you have light brown. Otherwise, you can use a cream color uh, to draw Saturn and rings with dark brown color. I hope everybody is ready with this. Everybody drawn Saturn. Yes, good. So now, when Saturn is drawn, I'll take my sun towards Saturn crease and fold it again. यहाँ पे. Good. ठीक है तो दिस वॉज साटन दिस वॉज माई सन मैं इसको पास में लेके आया और यहाँ पे मैंने क्रीज फोल्ड करी अब इस क्रीज पे कौन सा प्लान होना चाहिए द लार्जेस्ट प्लान इन अवर सोलर सिस्टम विच इज जुपिटर तो यहाँ पे आई ड्रॉ जुपिटर थोड़ा बड़ा सर्कल बनाना ठीक है बिकॉज जुपिटर इज द लार्जेस्ट प्लान और मैं उसमें कलर भी कर दूंगा I'll write J U P I T E R Jupiter. So my Sun ready is. Jupiter ready is. Saturn ready is. Uranus, Neptune, and Kuiper belt ready is. So my outer planets are ready. Everybody made Jupiter. No, oh just okay. I'll wait. Sanvi has made Jupiter. Very good. Shorty has also made. Good. So let's continue. ठीक है? Oh just, I'm going ahead now. Now what I'll do is, I have Sun को जुपिटर की क्रीज तक लेके आऊंगा एंड आई फोल्ड इट इनटू हाफ लाइक दिस तो मुझे एक और क्रीज मिल जाएगी आई गेट अ क्रीज अब यहां क्या होना चाहिए एनी गैसेस एनी गैसेस मार्स मार्स अर्थ ओके एस्ट्रॉइड बेल्ट गुड समन सेड एस्ट्रॉइड बेल्ट तो आई यूज डार्क ब्राउन कलर स्केच पेन और ब्लैक स्केच पेन and draw some rocks over here kisi bhi any shape kyunki asteroid koi particular shape ke nahi hote wo kisi bhi shape ke ho sakte hain maine brown bhi use kiya i'll use black also to make some asteroids any shape ओके गाइस समवन सजेस्टेड मी कि हमें जुपिटर पे रेड स्पॉट भी बना देना चाहिए तो गुड अगर पता है आपको तो यू कैन मेक अ रेड स्पॉट ऑन जुपिटर आई टेक द सजेशन एंड डू दैट ऐसे आई मेक अ रेड स्पॉट ठीक है तो मेरी एस्ट्रॉइड बेल्ट भी रेडी है टर्न Asteroid belt is done. Nice. Yes. I may say Kashvi also says yes. Good. So next step is to fold again till asteroid belt. Sun till asteroid belt. Like this. 
और इस पे क्या आएगा मार्स गुड आई यूज रेड स्केच पेन टू ड्रॉ मार्स अच्छा गाइस छोटा सा मार्स ना मार्स बिकॉज इट्स नॉट बिग एंड आई राइट मार्स देयर दिस दिस इज माय मार्स ठीक है अब मेरे पास में बहुत थोड़ी जगह बची होगी बिटवीन सन एंड मार्स सो आई हैव टू फिट थ्री प्लैनेट्स इनसाइड दिस विच आर दो थ्री प्लैनेट्स अर्थ वीनस एंड मर्क्री सो फॉर अर्थ आई यूज ब्लू एंड ग्रीन स्केच पेन ब्लू मीन्स वॉटर एंड ग्रीन मीन्स लैंड एंड आई राइट अर्थ like this ठीक है एंड फॉर वीनस आई यूज येलो मेक वीनस अप्रोक्सीमेटली सेम साइज एज अर्थ वीनस एंड फॉर मर्करी इफ यू हैव ग्रे स्केच पेन यूज ग्रे अदरवाइज यू कैन यूज ब्लैक आई यूज ब्लैक मेक इट वेरी स्मॉल वाई बिकॉज मर्करी इज द smallest planet like this theek hai so now i have all the planets in my solar system sun mercury venus earth mars asteroid belt jupiter saturn uranus neptune and the kuiper belt अच्छा डू यू सी दैट जो इनर प्लैनेट्स आर सो नियर है कितनी पास है और बाकी जो आउटर प्लैनेट्स वो कितनी दूर है देयर इज अ रीजन व्हाई दिस इज नोन एज स्पेस क्योंकि देयर इज अ ह्यूज स्पेस इन द यूनिवर्स तो ये इतना बड़ा है नाउ व्हाट वी कैन डू इज वी कैन फोल्ड इट आई विल स्टार्ट फोल्डिंग इट फ्रॉम द सन एंड अच्छा इफ एनीबॉडी वांट्स टू मेक एन ऑर्बिट दे कैन मेक ऑर्बिट वो ऑर्बिट भी बना सकते हैं बट डेट्स नॉट नेसेसरी ठीक है हम इसको फोल्ड करेंगे ऐसे पूरी स्ट्रिप को जुपिटर तक मैंने फोल्ड कर लिया अनफोल्डेड साइट एंड एलफोल्ड ब्यूरेनस नेपच्यूर एंड फाइनली द साइपर बेल्ट और ये मेरा पॉकेट सोलर सिस्टम तैयार हो गया आई कीप इन पॉकेट एंड टेक इट वेर एवर आई वॉन्ट टू गो ठीक है और मैं अपने फ्रेंड्स रिलेटिव फ्रेंड्स सबको सोलर सिस्टम दिखा सकता हूं अच्छा गाइज आई मेड इट वन ऑन टिश्यू पेपर ऑल्सो ये मैंने पहले भी बनाया था See, this was Kuiper Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, Jupiter, asteroid belt, and the inner planets: Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars on tissue paper. So, I can also fold it. Okay. Very good. I hope everybody have done this activity. कर लिया किसी को कोई problem तो नहीं आई. You can write in the chat. Good, Sanvi, you have done it. Very nice. I want everyone to click the photograph of their pocket solar system and send it to us. ठीक है? You can share it with us on Facebook or you can mail it. Anything you want to do. अच्छा अब is the session over? No. Now comes the Quiz time! I hope everybody is ready for the quiz. Are you guys? Do you want to participate in the quiz and see how much do you know? Chala good. So first, now let me introduce you to some rules. ठीक है कि वो कैसे कैसे quiz खेलना है. ठीक है. I'll show you a presentation now. पहले वो समझो and then I'll start the quiz. Great. जिनका हो चुका है वो तो अब ready हैं. जिनका नहीं हुआ please keep your model aside. You can complete it after the session. Okay, I'll share my screen and start. I hope everybody is able to see my screen. The blue one, just my step one, written. Good. 
ठीक है तो वॉट आई हैव टू डू इज फर्स्ट स्टेज यू हैव टू एग्जिट द फुल स्क्रीन फ्रॉम जूम वो कैसे होगा डू यू सी ऊपर यहां लिखा हुआ है कि यू आर व्यूइंग स्क्रीन ऑफ कुनाल स्क्रीन ऐसे दिख रहे हैं ना उसके आगे व्यू ऑप्शन होगा एंड वहां पे यू हैव टू क्लिक ऑन एग्जिट फुल स्क्रीन फर्स्ट ठीक है इफ यू गाइज है फोन विद यू तो उसमें आप कहूट ऐप भी डाल सकते हो द एप नेम इज के ए एच ओ ओ टी ठीक है पहले आपने एग्जिट किया अदरवाइज इफ यू डोंट हैव एनी मोबाइल और एनी थिंग यू कैन यूज योर ओन लैपटॉप ऑल्सो तो उसी पे भी आप कर सकते हो ठीक है नेक्स्ट यू हैव टू एग्जिट द फुल स्क्रीन बाय क्लिकिंग ऑन दिस देन यू हैव टू ओपन अ ब्राउजर कोई भी जिसमें आप गूगल क्रोम यूज कर रहे हो और इफ यू आर यूजिंग फायर फॉक्स एक्सप्लोर सफारी जो भी यूज कर रहे हो किसी पे भी आप कहूट डॉट आई टी खोल सकते हो ऐसे कहूट डॉट आई टी गाय सी द स्पेलिंग स्पेलिंग देख लेना जो यहाँ पे लिखी हुई है इट्स के ए एच डबल ओ टी डॉट आई टी ठीक है यू हैव टू टाइप इट स्टेप थ्री इज टू ओपन द ब्राउजर एंड जूम साइड बाय साइड ऐसे आप उसको हाफ कर लो ठीक है हाफ में आप जूम की साइड खोल लो जिसमें अभी आपको मेरी स्क्रीन दिख रही होगी एंड ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड यू कैन ओपन कहू डॉट आई टी ऐसे ताकि आपको दोनों स्क्रीन दिखे वाई बिकॉज यू विल बी सींग द क्विज क्वेश्चन ऑन द जूम स्क्रीन और उसके जो ऑप्शन होंगे वो आपको अपनी यहाँ पे अपनी ब्राउजर में दिख रहे होंगे तो आपने ब्राउजर में क्लिक करना है उसको अपने माउस से ठीक है वेन आई स्टार्ट द क्विज आई शेयर एन यूनिक गेम पिन विद यू ये पिन नहीं है पिन मैं आपको दूंगा अभी आफ्टर दिस प्रेजेंटेशन तो आपने वो पिन यू हैव टू एंटर इन दिस जहां पे ये गेम पिन मांग रहा है कहूट में यहाँ पे गेम पिन मांग रहा है ना तो यहाँ पे जो मैं पिन बताऊंगा वो डालना एंड प्रेस एंटर आफ्टर डूइंग दैट यू हैव टू एंटर योर नेम वो आपसे आपका नेम पूछेगा तो एंटर योर नेम एंड क्लिक ऑन ओके गो ठीक है फिर उसके बाद क्या होगा द क्वेश्चन दैट आई वुड बी आस्किंग वुड बी कमिंग ऑन द जूम स्क्रीन लाइक दिस एंड यू विल गेटिंग द फोर ऑप्शन हेयर या आप रेड ब्लू येलो और ग्रीन ना ऑप्शन ये इस ऑप्शन को डिनोट करते हैं तो इफ यू थिंक दैट वेयर डज द लाइट ऑफ सन कम फ्रॉम द आंसर इज सन तो आप क्या दबाओगे यहाँ पे ब्लू द डायमंड वाला नॉट द ट्राइंगल नॉट सर्कल और स्क्वेयर ब्लू डायमंड वाला बिकॉज ब्लू इज द करेक्ट आंसर तो ऐसे करके आप आंसर दोगे ठीक है सो दिस वॉज द प्रेजेंटेशन नाउ लेट स्टार्ट द क्वेस्ट ठीक है अब मैं आपको क्वेस्ट शुरू करता हूं so the, all parents are requested to please help your kids on the kahoot platform because they're very young kids so they may not be able to do it by themselves okay guys this is the pin 603232 I'm waiting for the players. Parents, please you can help your wards, your children to enter the pen. Okay, I see Manchi, Sana, Arush, Riyan, Vivan, Dhruv. Wow, wow, wow! Sanvi, good. People are coming. Aradhya, there are seventy people who join. Ditya, so Manchi, Shorya, space friend. Wow, what a unique name. Arohi, good. Sit, sit there. Are there twenty-seven? I got twenty-seven people. More Iron Man. Wow, Avengers. Karthik, Manit is here. Olivia, you are also here. Hi. Others have also joined. Sam is here. We got thirty-three players. Music also, you can also dance with me. Maria, great. Okay, Raga, be space friend. Wow. Good. Shiv. 
जो सबसे पहले आंसर देगा उसको सबसे ज्यादा पॉइंट मिलेंगे ठीक है तो अभी तो पहले ही क्वेश्चन हुआ डोंट वरी अभी कितने सारे ऊपर नीचे हो गए नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन करें ओके यू गो What does our solar system consist of? ठीक है बताना आपने Only planets, only planets and asteroids, only planets and the moons, or planets, moons or asteroids. What do you think? You have fifteen more seconds to give the answer. I got thirty answers. Thirty one, thirty two. Wow, thirty three. <laughs> As I speak, my one child gives an answer. Good. Three, two, one, go. Let's see. Oh wow! Twenty-nine of you gave the correct answer. Only planets. One gave only planets also. Next, let's see who was the first one to give the answers. Okay, so Manchu is the winner till now. Iron Iron Man is the highest climber. He climbed up thirteen places. Very nice, Avenger. Next question: Which planet is called as the red planet? ये तो आना चाहिए सबको है ना देर इज अंट ऑल्सो इन द स्क्रीन वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस अभी तो हिंट भी नहीं पूरा हुआ एंड द चिल्ड्रन स्टार्टेड टू आंसर गुड गुड अभी भी कुछ बचे हैं थर्टी वन थर्टी थ्री आंसर आई गॉट थर्टी फोर थर्टी फाइव एंड फोर थ्री टू वन एंड Zero. Twenty-nine of you gave Mars as the correct answer, which is absolutely right. ठीक है, red planet तो Mars को ही कहते हैं. You can see it as red also in the night sky. Okay, let's see. So Manchu is at the top, and we have Kashvi also into the game now. 
on top five. Let's go on the next question now. Okay. The correct order of these objects in the solar system is Earth, Mars, Venus, Mercury, Earth, Mars, Asteroid Belt, Jupiter, Neptune, Kuiper Belt, Uranus, Jupiter, or Mercury, Jupiter, Neptune, or Kuiper Belt. Okay. What do you think which would be the right answer? I'm still waiting for the answers. 10 seconds to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. Yes. Oh, good. Very nice. Oh, Mercury, Jupiter, Neptune, Kuiper Belt. You are missing a lot of these in between. But the sequences Earth, Mars, Asteroid Belt, and Jupiter sequence to yeah, yeah, na? Girl, 16 of you gave the right answer. Let's see. Oh, Akshada has now gone on the top. Very nice. Three players just hit answer streak three. Good. Ready? Next for the next question. Here you go. Which planet is considered as Earth's twin planet? Mars, Uranus, Venus, or Neptune? There's a hit in the image also. Good. Okay. Nice. Five seconds more to go. Still few answers left. Yes. Three, two, one, zero. Wow. Thirty of you gave Venus as the right answer. Very nice. Let's see. Okay, Dhruv is into top five now. The rest of the sequence remains the same. Next question. Which planet is nearest to the sun? I think everybody knows the answer. Venus, Earth, Mars, or Mercury? You can see the image also. Latika, you don't have to give the answer in chat. You have to give the answer in the option list. So five seconds more to go, guys. Five, four, three, two, one, and wow. 33 gave the answer Mercury. Very nice. Still, someone feels that Venus or Mars are nearest to the sun. Now it's Mercury. Let's see this. Oh, no change. Absolutely no change. Very nice. Space friend is here. Good. Next question. The majority of asteroids are found between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter, Earth and Mars, Jupiter and Saturn, or Saturn and Uranus. What do you think? Great, great. Very nice. Okay, asteroids look like these in the image, if you can see. Any shape. They are of no particular shape. Done. Okay, Mars and Jupiter is the correct answer. And most of you have given the same answer. Very nice. Next question. Let us see. Okay, Dhruv is out and Impana is in. Good. Akshita is still topping. It's still at the top. Which is the hottest planet in our solar system? Oh, wow. This is interesting. Jupiter, Mercury, Venus, or Mars? Hottest. Okay, you can see the image also. This image is also about to get revealed. I got 30 answers. 31, 32. 33, any other? 5 seconds to go. 4, 34, 3, 2, 1, and go. And oh, wow, Venus. Venus is the hottest. Yes. Mercury being the closest to the sun is still not the hottest planet in the solar system. It's the Venus, which is the hottest planet because of its atmosphere, which traps the heat. Okay? So let's see. Ryan has now gone on the first. Wow, very nice. Six players have reached the answer stick four. Good, very nice. Next question, the second last question. Which planet is the farthest planet in the solar system? Uranus, Neptune, Saturn, or Pluto? It's a little trick in this question. I think people would be able to find that. You can see the image if you have guessed from the image till now. 
Did you guess? 32 answers, 34 answers, very nice. Five seconds more. Two, one, and good. The correct answer is Neptune. Pluto is not a planet. It's a dwarf planet. Okay? Next. The last question. Let's see the table. The table is even the same. Rian on the top. Rian has the highest streak of nine answers. Very nice, Rian. Next. And the last question. It's a true or false question. The planet nearest to us is Jupiter. Is it true or is it false? Good. I got 29 answers. 32 answers. 33. Six seconds to go. Four, three, two, one, and zero. Wow. 29 has given the answer as false, and that's the correct answer. Very good. So let's see who's on the podium now. Wow. Let's see. On the third, it's Kashmi. Great Kashmi. Very nice. Second is this friend. Very good. And the top is congratulations, Vyan, for becoming the first one. And the runner up is Simpana and Vivan. Very nice, guys. Very nice. So I'm closing this. Great. So, guys, I hope you like this. Yep. Thanks, Kunal. It was uh, it was a very exciting quiz, and I think the kids all enjoyed. So, uh, with that, I hope all of you were able to complete your pocket solar system. I still have it, it. You have it. Uh, you can carry it with you wherever you go. And Kunal, of course, has two because yeah, he exactly. has uh, he has one with uh, toilet paper and also one with uh, the sheets folded sheets that he made. And uh, uh, somebody is asking what type of telescope is good for children? Ar Aryan, do we want to uh, suggest that? So I'll just wait for Aryan to come on online. Uh, we don't know how old they're talking about, but just suggest uh, how beginners can start. Uh, to initiate with, I would just say go ahead with a 50 mm telescope because uh, there are a uh, lot of things that they need to know before the observations, like uh, they should not point it towards the sun and all. So I would say pref uh, prefer 50 mm uh, for the young, younger age kids right now. And later you can proceed with the 75 mm and uh, again with all high quality telescopes that you want. And uh, so somebody is asking uh, when is our next webinar? And I don't think we have an image of that today. So our next webinar is, for, uh, is on 27th. And that is uh, how to make your own climbing robot. And again, uh, Kunal will be uh, guiding us on that. So uh, it's for a little older kids. These are all of you mostly today are younger kids. So all the kids class three onwards, please join us for uh, climbing rover. And that's on 27th. So anybody who could not do Kahoot today, it's, it's fine. It's just a game. Uh, and we will put this video online. So please look at the video and complete your pocket solar system if you couldn't complete it. So everybody, um, yeah, uh, webinar for small children. We don't have another webinar right now for small children. And for on 27th, the timings are the same, which is 4.30 to 5.30. Uh, so with that, everybody, I thank you for coming today. Thank you, Kunal, for conducting yeah, the lovely, I, fun activity. I want to add one thing. Yeah, go ahead. I want to see your pictures of solar system on Facebook. Oh, yeah. Please share those pictures with us. We also want to see that how good you made it. Okay. It so, us. so when we post the video, uh, uh, we are going to post the video. So then uh, on the comments to that video, please post your own pictures of the solar system. And of course, like I told you, this is for Global Astronomy Month. So we will be sharing the pictures with them too. And uh, thank you, Aryan, for uh, telling us all about the solar system. Welcome, and page, page, Facebook page is STEM and Space. And I'll tell, uh, and you will get a message for our next webinar.
Just one thing I would also like to add over here. All the kids, you open the pocket solar system and talk about at least two facts about each planet. Uh, like everybody at, at your home is uh, together right now. Teach them about solar system. That's your responsibility now. Okay. Okay. So everybody, thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time.